Oh my goodness, the tournament just ended. Oh my goodness, I'm so hyped right now, but it's time! Let me in, man! I haven't played Deadman mode since uh, the last winter season. I gotta pause this stream. And I usually do pretty good, and I just really, really want to play right now. I'm so hyped. Oh my goodness, there's so many people in there right now. Let's get it, man! Let's get it! Welcome to Dead Man Mode! Always start at the Gnome Stronghold. Getting agility up right away is super important. Because when I'm like grinding quests and stuff with one agility, hell nah, dude. Hell nah. Look at all these people. They're smart. They know what they're doing. I'm gonna get 30 agility and then I'm gonna go the melee route this time because I really want that KO potential. Definitely rushing Monkey Madness, Lost City, and then the Dragon Defender. This should be level 30 agility. Nice, now let's get out of here, man. Probably go to Ardoin, steal like 100 cakes, and I should be good for a while. Just finish Druidic Ritual on the other count. It's gonna be my Herblore alt. Just use my 10k to buy Steel Plate Body, Iron Plate Legs, and an Adamant Sword. I might be the strongest guy in dead man mode right now. I have a secret training spot where I'm gonna get 43 prayer. Here's the secret spot where all these hill giants are. I guess it's not so secret because there's a billion people here, but when I said I was the strongest in the game, I lied. This guy has freaking mithril, dude, level 57. That's badass. Just got 40 defense. Now I'm base 40s in all melees. Oh, hell yeah. Upgrade right here. Iron full helm. Let's fucking go. Oh, I completely forgot. These things drop giant keys. With the giant key, you go kill Obor. You get rune plate legs, rune chain body, rune full helm, rune kite shield. Whatever it is, it's going to be absolute bank, man. Very excited for this. When I get protection prayers, definitely going to go kill Obor. Oh yeah, another upgrade. Iron kite shield. All right, guys, about to get my first task. Ankus, 30 Ankus is not bad, dude. Actually, not bad at all. Just got 40 Herblur on the alt. I can make prayer pots now. Hopefully, make some GP so I could fund this account. Second giant key, hell yeah, dude. 60 strength. Now, let's work on 60 attack. Ooh, I just missed a level, but 37 prayer. Now, those mages ain't gonna do shit. Time to make some big moves. I bought an amulet of strength for 2000 GP, and this is gonna increase my melee max hit by two or three because it gives plus 10. Third giant's key. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna make bank real soon here. Just got 40 prayer. Protect from range, activated, nice. Now just protect from melee. 60 attack and 60 strength. Now let's go do some quest. First quest complete, Oh yeah, the Grand Tree. Second quest done, now I can do Monkey Madness. This is gonna be a struggle, but we'll be fine. I could also use Spirit Trees now, which is absolutely amazing. Ooh, 58 HP and my fourth Giant's Key. Just hit my cap, I'm sitting at 63 strength, 61 attack, and 38 magic. 43 prayer. Protect from melee unlocked. I swear every other season, man, the second I get here, I get specked out or something. Please don't spec me out. Nice, no team here again. I guess clans figured that it's not really worth camping here because people like me doing this quest, we don't risk shit, dude. We actually don't risk shit. Oh, I'm dead. They're just waiting with DDSs, dude. Oh my goodness. Well, it doesn't really matter because I'm just gonna run back there, grab my Gree Gree, and. Oh no, he took my monkey! Are they here still? Nope, they're gone. See, man, you just keep coming back, and eventually they're all gone. There's freaking lobsters over here. I think I actually made some money. Yo, I definitely made money. There's 1k? Oh my goodness. In the end, I somehow profit? Is that a little crazy? I think that's a little crazy. I actually profited. Nice, dude. I got lobsters now. I was using cake for like this whole season so far. But lobsters? I am freaking rich. Hmm, I need some food. Good thing my Herblore account is making some mad money. 
Anti-poisons for 1k each. Oh, and now they're helping? Oh my goodness, lag. Are you kidding? I'm gonna lag right now. The final blow. See you later, jungle demon. You a freak? Yes, monkey madness complete. Feels good, man. Feels good. Also, 10k to my cash stack, so hell yeah. I know a pretty good way to make some money. Right here are these giant's keys. So let's go kill Obor four times and see how much money we can make. Hopefully enough for a D-skin. There we go. First Obor down. Ooh, death runes. 44. Not the best drop, but we still have three keys left to go, so... Oh my god. Please tell me I could kill him. Please just kill him. For fuck's sakes. Nope, 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 nope. Get out of here. Oh. No, I died to Obor. I'm a fucking idiot, dude. I'm not strong enough to kill Obor yet. He is so strong, man. The first time I killed him, I used the exact same inventory, but... My RNG was good, so I was able to kill him. Wait, what? I got level 10 Slayer twice? One task done for 33 Slayer. 38 Blood Runes. I hope they sell for over 300 each, because that's over 10k and that would be awesome. Second task, come on, something good. Cockatrice. 36 Wood Cutting. 31 Prayer. Time for Lost City. Bam! Lost City done. Access to Xenaris. I'm also 70 combat so I can use this Slayer Master after I do my Cockatrice task. One diamond to cross. Huge, huge upgrade. Bam! Anyways, let's go do our Cockatrice task. They drop a ton of nature runes so hopefully I can make enough money for decent gear like some Mithril or something. And then I can kill my last two Obors. It's gonna be a rematch. My gear is so OP. Steel Plate Body, Mirror Shield, Amulet of Strength, and Dragon Dagger. Screw this guy, dude. This is where I outrun them. Is a rune crossbow and snares? Gotta run all the way to Relica. Or I could probably get a teleport on this guy to be honest. Okay, that was so easy. So easy, dude. What are you even doing? There was two of you and you let me get away just like that? What? Well, time to make some upgrades because this armor isn't cutting it. Mithril plate body. Bam! Mithril legs. And helmet. Damn, look at that gear now. Just imagine doing monkey madness and not doing the training afterwards. Imagine. Because that gives HP, right? And that doesn't count towards my cap, so... Definitely that. Let's go kill Obor. Let's go kill Obor. I have the armor now. I can definitely kill him. If I die to Obor again, I'm quitting Deadman mode, man. He's gonna drop me some rune and it's gonna be a good day, man. A good day. I'm back, Obor. Bigger, badder, and way stronger than before. Oh my goodness, this is so much easier now, man. So much easier. Oh my god. 50 big bones? Bam! Please rune item. Rune Medhelm! Hell yeah, dude! Look at that. I'm a beast! Gives a little bit more bonus than Myth. But I'll probably put this in my deposit box or try to sell for like 20k or something. Anyways guys, that's where I'm going to end the video. That was day one. I'm tired as hell right now, but I made huge progress, man. I'm very happy with this. I don't have the D-skim yet, but I, I could definitely afford it tomorrow because I'm going to the Warriors Guild. And the drops there are pretty damn good for making money. So yeah, and the food heals 16 and costs like 12 GP. That's crazy, right? Oh yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this as well. 
And my alt parking meter, rank 13 in Herblur. I don't know how the hell this guy got 80 through. He's absolutely crazy. We look like a beast right now. Tomorrow we're going to get the Dragon Defender, do Fremenic Trials, Fremenic Isles, maybe PK a bit. And um, yeah, I'm really tired right now. But this is the end of the night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave me a like, have a nice day, and don't forget to pay your meter. Or else. Nobody's safe in dead man mode.